Hey what's up guys welcome back this is Ashok from TechEB and today's video will be taking a look on one of the ROM called Cosmic OS which is based on Android 8.21 so without wasting any time let's get started. This will be the first look of your ROM after installing you will get new icons available pre-installed on your ROM and after that if you want to check the change logs you can go to the Cosmic OS app and here are all the change logs mentioned and what are the features of this ROM. And in this video, we'll be taking a look on benchmark results, what are the customizations options available in this and I'll also show you the battery backup which I got it in the first cycle. After that, at the end of the video, I'll also show you how can you install this room. So now directly going to the settings, going to about phone, I'll show you the software information. Here you can see Android 8.21 with Android security patch 5th December 2017. So in this room everything is working, Volt services are working so if you are using Geo SIM cards then you should not have any kind of issues. First let's take a look on customization option available on this room. So going to display here you will find few extra options available like you can change the theme of your device accordingly. You have pre-installed themes available in this and after that you also have option to change system theme style. So you can use dark light or wallpaper based. So let's choose dark one and after that we'll also change the device theme to yellow. So you can see now your device looks really great and uh, with a new theme available. If you want extra customizations then you'll find an option of galaxy under which you have many options like status bar, navigation bar, recents, button, lock screen, gestures, notification, quick settings, volume rocker and miscellaneous. So one by one we'll take a look on everything what is available under these options. So going to status bar here you have option to enable or disable status bar items. You also have a network traffic indicator which can be enabled from here. Moving on to navigation bar here you have navigation buttons which can be customized from here. After that you have option to enable navigation bar. If you enable then you will be able to change the height or width of the navigation bar. Moving on to recents here you have memory bar which can be enabled from here so that you get memory bar on the top of your recents. After that you have few options to clear all buttons and hide applications. Then we have buttons option under which you have option to disable hardware keys and also can adjust the backlight time accordingly. You also get accidental touch feature under buttons. Moving on to lock screen here you have weather option, media art, lock screen charging info. Then moving on to gestures you can find status bar option, double tap to sleep, lock screen, screen off, power button, torch, brightness control. Later you have notification under which you can enable head up notification and you also get few options of in call vibration. Then you have quick settings under which you get brightness slider, brightness icon, quick pull down, smart pull down options available under quick settings. Moving on to volume rockers, here you have few options like you can adjust your volume buttons. If you want to wake up your device, you can enable volume rocker wake and few other options available. And the last one is miscellaneous. Under this you have wake lock blocker, alarm blocker and you also get option to remove system applications. And this is a room where I found lots of customizations available. So if you want to try, you can just give a try on this room. Now talking about the battery backup which I got it on the previous cycle, I have taken a screenshot of that. You can see the battery backup was 3 hours and 16 minutes of screen usage with 1% battery remaining and the applications which I used were these. So battery backup needs to be improved a little bit, hope they improve it in the next build. Now taking a look on the benchmark results going with Geekbench application, here in single core I got 1686 and multi core 3996. These are not bad results but if we compare it with Oxygen OS then these are pretty low. Now moving with Antutu Bench application where I have also done benchmark test in this device code 1,30,146. So in this room everything is working fine including dash charging, fingerprint sensor, volt services. I did not find any kind of hitting issues also. So let's go in check out the installation process for that make sure guys you have downloaded the file which i will mention in the description below so these are the files one is cosmic os the second file is google applications which is arm64 8.1 pico so make sure you have twrp recovery installed on your device if you don't have twrp recovery installed do let me know in the comment section below so after you install twrp recovery reboot your device to recovery 
After your device boots to TWRP recovery, make sure to locate the files which you have downloaded. This is a Cosmic OS file and the Google App package. Once you have located, go to Wipe, Advanced Wipe, clear everything from here excluding internal memory. Once it is done, go back again and flash the ROM file first. After that, we will flash Google App package and reboot the device. Your device will boot up in somewhere around 3 to 4 minutes. Once device boots up, you can complete the initial setup. So these are the things available on this ROM guys. And if you have any kind of questions, do let me know in the comment section below. As of now, only this much in this video guys. Hope you like the video. If you like the video, do give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, do not forget to subscribe the channel. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.